What's up YouTube? Today's video, I'm going to be doing a full restoration and customization on these old, beat up, dirty Jordan 6s. These Jordans are actually the chameleon colorway. As you can see, they're very dirty, very beat up and old. The bottoms, dirt all over them. I'm going to be taking them from that dirty state right now and making them a brand new shoe. I'm going to take you guys through the process as well as the materials I use to do everything and make it easy for you guys to do at home. Before the video starts, I want to give a huge shout out to myself. Go add me on Snapchat, my snap code will be on the screen right here. And if you want to check me out on Instagram, my Instagram will be on the screen right here. Make sure to go follow me on both of those and you'll automatically be entered in the giveaway. We're giving away two pair of shoes and two hoodies and I'm announcing the winners when I hit 50,000 subscribers. Right now I'm at 48,000 so we're getting pretty close so make sure to enter as soon as you can. With all that being said, I'm going to take the laces off these guys, wash them up, trying to make them as clean as possible before I get to customizing. Let's get into it. Okay, so to clean up the shoes, I'm going to be using this Tide laundry detergent. I want to use things that most people have in their houses or have on hand or close by that they can use themselves without having to order online or go through all these processes to make it. I fill this little cup right here with a little bit of water and I'm going to be adding some Tide detergent to it. I'm not going to be adding too much, I just want a soapy kind of water for this. And I'm going to go ahead and use this and this little brush I have to hit the shoes with the first scrub down, get all the dirt off, but anyway, let's go into it. So I just got done cleaning these shoes up. They look pretty good in my opinion. There's obviously some paint coming off here, some flaking on the bottom, but overall these are in pretty good condition after I cleaned them up. It did take a while to get most all of the dirt off. There's still a little bit in the creases that I really couldn't reach, but it's okay because I'm gonna be acetoning them, removing the factory finish, and giving them a full customization. Okay, so we're now out in the garage. You guys, if you've seen my older videos, you know this is where I do all my customizations. Right here I have my acetone that I use. I'm gonna be using some paper towels just folded up and scrubbing off the factory finish from the entire shoe. Entire. Okay, so the shoes are completely acetone, the factory finish is removed, and some of the color has come off. It does look a lot uglier than it did before. I'm using this black Angelus paint on the midsoles, and then I'm going to use a glossy acrylic finisher to give it a nice glossy look, because I'm also going to be using black on the uppers, along with a matte finisher to give it a more matte look up here, and a glossy look down here. Let's get into the customization.
Okay, so for the last step in this process, I'm going to be hitting the shoe with this acrylic finisher. Now for the parts I colored with colors besides black, I'm going to be using the high gloss finisher. Now for the rest of the shoe, I'm adding a bit of this door to give the finisher a matte look. But without further ado, let's get this done. So I just showed you a before and after picture of the shoes. If you think this was a successful restoration and customization, go down and drop a big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to go hit that sub button. Also, I just want to let you guys know that I read every single comment. So if you have a suggestion for a video or a customization that you guys want to see, go down and drop it in the comment section below. I always love to hear you guys' feedback and your ideas of what you guys want to see more of or less of. I just want to make all the content things you guys want. Lately, I've been uploading two to three times a week, so if you want to be notified every time I post a new video, go and hit that bell, turn on post notifications, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Woo!